Assalamualaikum students. Today we are going to start the question, second question of exercise 1.3. We have to find the additive inverse of these matrices. We have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Six matrices. We have to find their additive inverse. Last time if uh, we read about additive inverse, we we find the additive inverse of some matrices. Today we apply the same condition as we know that to find additive inverse of a matrix. It has minus a negative of this matrix is the additive inverse of the matrix. How we can find it? We can multiply matrix A by minus 1. We can find the additive inverse of matrix. On the other hand, we can change the sign of all the elements of matrix A. So we can find it. It's inverse by this way. We change. First we write the matrix A. To find its additive inverse, we change the sign of each element of matrix A. For this, we use minus for 2. We also use minus for 4. As minus it has already minus sign, so we can neglect it. We can use positive here. For positive, we cannot write it. And next one, minus 1. So matrix become minus 2, minus 4, 2 and minus 1. Which become the additive inverse of matrix A. Now we can add A and minus A which becomes identity matrix, null matrix which is additive identity. Same here for minus A plus A which also becomes the additive identity null matrix. Next we solve the matrix B. For B additive inverse we use it minus B which gain the sign of all the elements of matrix B. For 1 we use first we write matrix B 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 and 1. We can do only a single change that we change minus into plus and plus into minus. For this we use minus 1. As 0 remains same, it has no sign so it uh, remains 0. But for negative we neglect it and use positive sign for negative. Change, into, ne change negative sign into positive. Next one, 2 becomes minus 2. Minus 1 becomes plus 1. 3 becomes minus 3. Next 3 1. 3 becomes minus 3, minus 2 becomes plus 2, and 1 becomes minus 1. So negative B is the additive inverse of matrix B. We can write it B plus minus B is equal to null matrix, which is equal to minus B plus B. For matrix C, Additive inverse of C 4 and minus 2. We change its sign. For C we use minus C. For 4 we use minus 4 and for minus 2 we, it becomes plus 2. So C uh, additive inverse of C is minus C. C plus minus C is equal to null matrix which is equal to minus C plus C. And this null matrix becomes the null matrix of same order as have C, as their B, as their A. So null matrix become same order of this matrix. 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 2 by 1. Next see the D1. D is equal to 1, 0, minus 3, minus 2, 2 and 1. We have to change its sign for D. We use minus D. Plus 1 becomes minus 1, 0 remains same, minus 3 becomes plus 3, minus 2 becomes plus 2, 1 becomes minus 1 and 2 becomes minus 2. So the sign of all the elements of matrix D change and D is the additive inverse of matrix D. For E, we write here the same. E is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. But for negative of E, additive inverse of E, we use here 
minus e and change the sign of all the elements 1 becomes minus 1 0 cannot change its sign as it remains same as 0 for 1 it becomes minus 1 so the additive inverse of e is minus 1 0 0 and minus 1 for matrix f we use f is equal to under root 3 1 minus 1 and under root 2 so sign of all the elements change minus f become minus square root of 3 minus 1 plus 1 minus square root of 3 2 so it becomes the additive inverse of matrix f which is equal to minus f